Hey, folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We are playing our vanilla campaign over here with uh, no expansions, no DLC, and having a lovely old time. Last episode, we went and raided Bandit Camp and got ourselves a bionic leg for Darcy, who's wanted one for a long time. She's sitting in bed. Uh, honey, I know you were just sleeping, but I'm going to get you to prioritize operating on Darcy so she doesn't spend too much time waiting for her bionic leg. I'm going to use some medicine for it. She wasn't missing a leg. But she really did want to be genetically modified. So yeah, right now she's been sitting around with minus four for a while. Ooh, fire. Oh, I was going to say, that that sounds like a boomalope or boomerat going through our traps. And that is the case. I'm going to go and expand the home zone over here. So that that fire gets fought. Maybe do that. I don't really want this area cleaned. But I do want to make sure the fires get handled. Did the operation happen or get canceled? No, there we go. Bionic leg. And body modder, please. So we went from a minus four to a plus four, so that's an eight point mood swing. And if we do keep modding Darcy, she's just gonna get happier and happier. But she's also gonna move faster. Slept in the heat. Ooh, it is quite toasty in here. Wait, do I have no air conditioning in this block? I guess I don't have much air conditioning in general. They probably live with it. It's bad for the mood. But they're not gonna die from it. What, Labray, did you get burned? Oh, you were in bed for like, 0.01 seconds. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to just expand the home area here so that it actually gets fought properly. I'm just going to recruit and unrecruit people. And then I'm going to trim it down because I don't want these things to be cleaned. That's the reason I haven't really done much of this before is because it does need this kind of micromanagement on these zones. But it does make a lot of sense to just have the minimum possible allocated. Just things that need to be repaired. And things you really want cleaned, i.e. the inside of your house. Uh, diplomacy. Oh, it's just the send someone for peace talk thing. Yeah, um, so the advantage of this is it does give you some social XP. So we could send Honey out there. Now, if she gets ambushed, she's going to have a bad time. But it is going to be a small caravan, so it's very unlikely that she gets ambushed. I'm going to do it. It's right over there. So we're going to make a new caravan. Go to the peace talks. Accept. So it's just gonna be honey. And she can ride a dromedary to go a little bit faster, 0.7 days, excellent. Um, send her with a couple of survival meals, kibble for the animal. Uh, don't bother bringing medicine. Cause I don't think, well, I suppose you could medicine yourself if something happened, but mostly we need to avoid it. Bring one medicine with you. There you go, and your excellent bedroll. 0.7 days to get there. Yeah, you're gonna be fine on food. We actually are bringing way more food than you need, but let's do that. Okay. There you go. Just ride your camel out. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. Steel plate armor. Yeah, we'll probably just sell that. We could wear it. It's decent armor. Um, it's really not bad. So middle outer. So it's like it's like the recon and marine armor in terms of like what it covers here. Uh, but it does slow you down by a fair bit. That's a pretty significant slowdown. Um, it also is not insulated really at all, which makes sense. It's metal. If anything else, it would conduct more temperature in and out of you. So it wouldn't be particularly pleasant, but we'll see about selling it. I mean, it is just adding a little bit of wealth right now, but it's not like our wealth is out of control. All right, Sappy hauling some corn. Very nice. Honey's out in the world. Might be sleeping a little in the bedroll for a tick here, but it's nearly the right time for her to keep moving. So that's going to be okay. We're not on a strict time limit for that. We do have the time limit for the bionic arm, which Darcy would like. I believe she would keep getting mood buffs. I don't I don't know how like how it works. I think there's diminishing returns, but I think her the mood buff for the modding will go up as she gets more parts. Maybe there's no diminishing returns. Maybe she'd be happy being a full on Robocop. I mean, that would be a lot of investment in parts on one pawn. Especially parts that aren't replacing missing body parts, right? Like, she's got two perfectly functional arms. She wants a bionic arm, but I'm like, is that really needed? So, I think someone's missing an eye. Okay, missing toe. Scratchy arm. Yeah, we'd love a bionic eye for Berg. That's really all we need. Um, yeah, so Dan Darcy is still dealing with some um, anesthesia, so her movement is still not 100%, but she will be sitting, I believe, at 125%. Uh, maybe a hundred and, and half of that, like 112%. Because the leg is 125% efficiency, but I think she would need both legs. 
Okay, we're just going to move on. We're not interested in trade. We're certainly going to again, attack that caravan. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye out there. I think she'll be at like 112.5 movement rate. For what and however that'll round. All right, peace talks. Flounder. So we didn't get any mood boost with them, but no matter what, you get 6,000 XP. I mean, failed peace talks, you learn from that. Apparently successful ones, you also learn the same amount. So 6,000 XP we get regardless. Um, I don't know if that got multiplied by her experience boost because she's got the passion for social. I think she's double passionate for social. Um, yeah. So I don't know if she got the 50% extra. So I don't know if she got 9,000 or not. I know that in 1.3, um, when someone studies a tech print, they get 2,000 XP, and I believe it does get multiplied by their experience boost. Uh, and I think one of the things in 1.4 that's going to be changed, it's no longer. It's going to be a flat 2,000, uh, which means it's more useful for pawns that don't have passion for, construct for research. It's less useful for pawns that do. But 2,000 XP isn't much when you've already got a lot of skill in research anyway. That's, that's going to be a fraction of a level. So I think it probably is better so that you can use a pawn that doesn't have a research passion and actually give them a few skill points in it. All right, uranium turret done. I just wanted those as an, you know, just in case and potentially for like ship defense. But now, yeah, we're going to start uh, doing the ship stuff. Oh, I need... I'm going to need something for the Starflight sensor, but I'm going to immerse a machine persuasion because to build the computer core, I need an AI core module, which you get from, I think you might be able to buy it sometimes, but you can get it as a quest reward. Uh, wait, or unless, am I getting confused? I don't know something that got added with royalty. Solar flare sucks, all our power's down, but at least it doesn't last very long. We don't have a bunch of wood stored. I'm probably going to want to have a wee bit sitting around. If there's any trees in here. Let's chop that down. I guess I could make this a grow zone just um, because it would auto cut mature plants, but it might auto cut mature grass, which we wouldn't want. I, I don't know if it does that, actually. It might work. Now, I can put a designation in here to auto cut trees, but it'll auto cut trees the second they show up. Um, it doesn't it doesn't wait for them to be fully grown, as far as I know. So that's not really what we want either, because we wouldn't get any logs from that. Because until they get to, I think, 50%, like this oak tree is not grown enough. It didn't get chopped because we won't get any wood at all from it. So, yeah, some things are rotting away because this refrigerator is not a, oops, not a refrigerator right now. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. Just noticed to smudge my glasses. I was reaching up to uh, to check my glasses and then walk to the mic. Honey is on our way home. Nearly there. Good. It was worth the little trip. I mean, we lose Honey's productivity in the base for a couple of days, but... Getting her some XP on the social. It's nice. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference long term. I'm sorry, Vort's a nudist? How is this not... How did this mood thing not come up before? Wait. Were you just changing your clothes around? You're not a nudist. What? Oh, it was unhappy nudity. I think Vort just took off um, her pants or her shirt to replace it with something else. So she was temporarily nude for a sec. Okay. I thought it was unhappy nudist, but I just realized now the nudity message is different anyway. It was it was unhappy nudity because they were temporarily naked. Okay. Did you just drop berries here? Not where they're supposed to go. Thanks, Paolo. Thanks for taking care of that for me. So, NG, what are you up to? Um... Angie, why are you crafting when you could be smithing? Maybe the shells count as a smithing job rather than a crafting job. Doesn't really make sense to me. Maybe it's related to the power glitch. Maybe things... No, you're making a high, a high explosive shell first. Just as a test with NG, I'm going to turn off his craft, reset him. No, it must be a smithing job. I mean, eventually you'll run out of the need to make shells, but... Do I want to lower the amount? I mean, we probably... I don't know how many we used. We know Engie's been starting to make these. We might have used as many as half our shells hitting that. So I do like a big supply of them. I mean, maybe I could limit it to 25. 
I mean, at least this happens quickly. And actually, we did have the extra chem fuel around. I'm not hating the idea of, yeah, we, we consumed all the chem fuel that was in, um, in the stockpile over here. Okay. I think my assignments are, sorry, I always look at the wrong thing. Yeah, we're still in unrestricted here. Oh, you can get that copied. There we go. Um, I don't think we're really doing things all over the map anymore, so I think it's probably okay. Like, I don't have anything designated anywhere else. So the fact that it's set to everything isn't the end of the world. On the other hand, since I don't have anything set up over there for them to do, because presumably they've they've done anything that was outstanding, I will set this here just in case I, like, unforbid a random thing from across the map and then they get themselves in trouble. Okay, how's our timer here? We've probably got time for the next main event. I'm wondering about going and doing the job for the Bionic Arm. Even though we don't need it right now, I think I like the plan. So I'm going to grab a handful of people. What kind of defense are we looking at over here? Oh! Oh, no. No, I don't want to deal with that one. I'm just going to go and kill that immediately. That's 11 turrets. That doesn't sound like fun. Although, you can take care of the turrets by just killing their power supply. And it might be possible for us to outrange the turrets if we're just engaging, like, solar panels or something. But, now, nah. Since we don't need the bionic arm right now, just letting it go by. Did we research bionic parts? Uh, I thought it was over here, but maybe not. Prosthetics, yes. Is bionic something that we can even do in vanilla? Or is it only a Oh no, there it is, bionic replacements. There we go. So I was looking at the right area at first. I just didn't see it. Okay, yeah, so we can always make our own Bionic parts, push comes to shove, if someone does suddenly lose an arm. Um, I guess that means we can probably make Bionic Eyes, right? Huh. Let me move this heater there. Thanks, Paolo. And then production. We are looking for... I don't remember... Oh, in Vanilla... Yeah, oh, is it just... Or the machining table. Oh, no, here it is. Bionic Eye. Yeah, I'll leave it at the bottom over here. Well, I'll put it above the, con the component construction so we don't get in that weird, annoying loop again. So, NG, you're still making these. I'm a little annoyed about it. I mean, I can just force you to do this, but then I'm worried that, like, I'm, I'll forget you and you'll get in a really bad mood. These don't need skill, though. That's actually annoying. Um, I wish it was crafting rather than smithing. Again, they use the same skill, but they don't actually have a quality. Um, although they do have a skill minimum, I suppose. But then we could get, like, people who aren't necessarily god-tier crafters, as long as they have at least six points to do that. Um, I guess, okay, can I... In vanilla, can I make it so that, yeah, only a specific person works it? I mean, I could put a skill. So I could just force... And I guess this would eliminate the issue with, like honey starting some of these tasks maybe i'll set entry to these but i'll let honey work on components and certainly over here as well yeah okay hold on that kind of appeals to me let me do something like that i mean honey's asleep right now anyway so it doesn't matter but honey can help out with the component construction yeah i mean it might mean she occupies the desk a little bit but it's not the end of the world oh, an eclipse. all right that's fine Bob's got nothing to do. I guess we've got no construction queued up. We don't have the extra research benches, which is fine. I don't think rushing through um, creating the uh, research in the spaceship is going to make much of a difference to us right now. So we can just let Vort handle it. Okay, honey's up. Now you got to sow some plants. Yep, mm-hmm. Going for a walk. All right, sure. Oh, it is recreation time. I guess you might go to sleep for the scheduled sleep for a little bit. Not that you need much rest, though. Yeah, this is scheduled recreation time. There is a mod I do like for making videos called Follow Me, where I can hit um, a hotkey and just have the camera follow someone. Makes it makes it nice and cinematic. Hey, Psychic Sooth! Well, that's always helpful. There's a lot of little bits to sew over here. I wonder, is there an animal that's getting into this? I mean, an outside animal theoretically could, because we do have the doors open and stuff, if they make it through the trap gauntlet. 
Okay, doing that. I mean, the eclipse isn't going to help the plants grow. And the eclipse can be surprisingly long here. Um, like, on Earth, an eclipse, especially the totality part of the eclipse, is very short. But, um, you know, we don't know how the solar system is constructed. The position of the planets and the moons. This rim world we're on might be a moon around a planet, which, depending on things, means it could be eclipsed for a very long period of time. There you go. NG, working a recon helmet. Excellent. Wait, do we need another one? Did we, like, did we burn through a recon helmet? Oh, no, we did get another person joined. We got Sappy to join us. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make another one. Yeah, because um, Paolo was still working, waiting for his, and now Sappy is waiting for his. His. And yeah, the recon helmets are cheaper, and I think a lot of our body coverage is pretty good since we do have flak vests. And the dusters, although they're not Devil Strand dusters. If people wearing Devil Strand dusters and flak vests, I would feel really good about their body coverage. But yeah, I like the idea of getting all the face stuff going on. Another Zot. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> I deconstruct that. In fact, why don't I do... Deconstruct more to open up the freezer. I guess I will deconstruct more just because we might not be able to reach everything here. Let me make sure. I mean, that's, yeah, allowed work and home zone. It is there. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, no reason to rebuild this wall. And I guess I'll expand this over here. And the lack of flooring is not even really an issue. Although it's going to annoy me. So, you know what? More marble floor uh, right here. There we go. Okay. Slightly b b bigger freezer. That's funny. Could replace this inner core with uh, some stone to prevent the fire from coming out, but that's uh, going to be okay. Angie's asleep now. You got a few idlers. I think I'm still okay with that. Um, I guess... Okay, there's a little bit of space in here. What I can do... I'm going to move this bed here. And I'm going to make a simple research bench. Oh, I can't put it down right now because it's in the way. There we go. And, oh, I should, if I move the statue, uh -huh -huh, I'll move you here. Libre, could you do that for me? Thanks. I'm just going to put, and this room is nice and sterile, so it's got some decent research speeds. We'll put a couple of research bench in there so that idlers can go and help out with this. Because why not? If they're idle, we may as well put them to work. We get some extra statues. I may not install these um, so I can sell them. Although uninstalled, they do add more wealth than when they are installed. I know at least for walls, they lose half their wealth. I don't know if the statues are the same. Inspired recruitment. Well, we don't have a prisoner right now. But maybe we'll get one soon. We'll maybe have a little bit of time to the next raid. There you go. One more helmet is in the queue, presumably. Oh, Honey is working on the components right now, so if NG's up, they won't be able to go in and work on this, but that's that's okay. We do want these components to get built. You're probably making an advanced component now with these materials, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if NG gets at the station, it's going to be okay. As for now, oh, I was going to say NG can just make more shells, but I think you're out of chem fuel. Well, let me turn on our biofuel refinery again. Oh yeah, I forgot NG's a constructor. He's in constructor. That is some speed. Oh, you're only an eight. Wow, but you construct pretty damn fast. Wow. Alright. And there you go. Oh, NG's back over here, so they're gonna work on that helmet. That's gonna be Sappy's helmet. Beautiful. And yeah, I think Palo equipped the helmet automatically, replacing things. They do by default with their outfits. Um, they of the things that they're allowed to wear they will try to put on the thing with the most armor by default. Um, although they will also pay attention to temperature. If they're too hot, they might they can do a swap of clothing or if they're too cold. So they will take parkas on and off automatically, for example, if uh, they're outside their comfort range. Infestation. Okay. All right. Well, that answers the question. We can get an infestation of a tunnel that's exposed to the air. But that's fine because it's not inside of our base. Now, oh, that's a lot of bugs, though. And they will, at some point, be into the idea of smashing through the wall. But, what well, we can do a short term here. 
So can man these turrets, these mortars. As I say, they're very tightly contained. We'll try to hit them. There we go. That worked. I might want to manually target and lead ahead. Or they changed their mind. They're no longer kiting. Oh, we're smashing that. Fire. Oh, dry thunderstorm. Ew. You know what? Even though it's going to lead to, like, excess annoying cleaning of blood when we get a fight, I'm just going to home zone this area. Because it is kind of important if there are fires that it gets put out right away. I'm going to add, like, a two-tile layer on the outside over here as well. Um, actually, this is not a problem. Well, there it is, because that's wood. I suppose the rest isn't, but I'll go and set that up anyway. Oh, good. Another decent hit. All right. Oh, if we hit the danger zone. Actually, we're probably in a good place to open that now. Okay, I'm going to stop those shots. I'm just going to get everyone positioned over here now. And things are fairly tanky. As you can see by the way they went through those traps. Ooh, lightning. That was very cool looking. Probably have to replace some of these turrets. Yeah, I should make this flatter. There's no reason for me to curl this quite this much. And then we could cover the guns a little bit better. No, actually, we didn't lose the gun. Lost that trap. I was still wondering if I should just put a steel trap there. You know what? Let's do that. Because replacing the... Um... Yeah, I'm going to turn off the auto rearm on these. Replacing the turret's a little bit more expensive than replacing the trap. should probably redo this. I was kept talking about moving it back, too, with the assault rifles. But I think I'm going to deprioritize the assault rifles for as many people. Okay. Um, I mean, I suppose I could turn on Hunt and all these. It's already downed. I don't actually have to worry about them doing something crazy. I instantly hunt these? No? Some might. Oh, now they're going to finish them because they're downed. Right. They're just going to go and stab them. They're not going to bother shooting them. Oh, there's another bug over here. I think... Oh, and another one. And a combat supplier in space. Okay, well... Uh, hang on. What oh, just got shot? I like one of these turrets fired, but at what? I wonder if one of these, one of these bugs get up? Because it wouldn't have been at this. Yeah, maybe something got up for a sec. That is possible. Uh, allow everything. Yeah, you're finishing things off there. Uh, oh, these things are still here. So we'll have to go and get some of the tigger of those hives. But we've got a while before I think anything else comes out of them. So it's not a huge rush. I guess everyone's having to deal with some things inside before they go and do more hunting. Some rest and whatnot. Hello? Yeah, okay, there you go. Good. All cleared up. So yeah, this is not um, home zone here, so we won't go fight that fire, but it is raining. So yeah, we do have to watch these things. This is a rainy thunderstorm, so we should be okay. Honey working on component. Again, that's fine. We need components. And the next time someone's up, I'll just have them go and take care of those hives. All right, that was that was that was good. And they make these little glow lights. I believe these glow pods that time is happens to be uh, no, they're reproducing. Well, or is that copying the hives? Yeah, I think this reproduction makes more hives rather than more things. I think the glow lights can be an indicator. No, that's right. The indicator here. This is how much time between infestations. So you can keep a glow pod around as um, a bit of a helper to know when the next infestation could come. Keeping the glow pot around doesn't change when you'll get the infestation, but it's just an indicator. 
I didn't need this many people, but what the hell, right? Okay, gun. Uh, we'll unforbid these, and I guess if I want this hauled, I'll just uh, add this to the allowed work area for a little bit. Okay. We have no wood again. A lot of horses out there. Yeah, I guess I don't want to do it on those. Although, I could re-add that as a work area. Yeah, um... Not architect, zone. There you go. Now any mature trees over here can get auto-chopped. And I really will do that just so that... Oh, I forgot the combat supplier. Oh, no! I mean, it's not the most critical of suppliers, but we definitely could have swapped a few things. We got some guns we don't really care about. Yeah, that would have been all right. Okay, get some more wood. I don't think we need any wood construction right now, although I think we still need some to do the biochem currently. Should not be a bad thing to have around. There you go. Thank you, NG. Working on the recon armor. Recon armor takes a lot of work. No, I should... no I'm not going to build two fabrication benches. They're pretty expensive as is. So, I don't think I need the second one. And it's only right now while I'm getting everyone armored up. I don't think I even got enough in the queue for everyone right now, but yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while before NG finishes all the recon armor. But man, oh man, are we going to feel good once we're in them. Such good defense. I'm wondering if it would have been worth, like, power leveling NG a little higher before she started working on that. Marriage is on. Oh, NG and LeBray are actually getting properly married. All right. I'm sure this won't end in disaster when one of them dies. Okay, hauling wood. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just put everyone unrestricted right now. Since we are in between raid events. I'll keep this clear, actually. That did count as a major... The infestation was a major thing, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Oh, Ambrosia Sprout. Well, we'll do the thing that we like to do. Is you put a growing zone around it. And then you turn off so sowing. So we don't actually plant potatoes. And at some point... Um, this will be harvested. All the mature things. Right now, uh, Honey's coming over here and chopping down the fully mature trees. I suppose I could make another growing zone like this, covering this whole area. And then, yeah, whenever I, like, allow everyone to roam on the map, if there's any mature trees over here, just go and... Just go and cut them immediately. Yeah. That's good. It'll give me a few toggles like that. In fact, I might just want... More. You know, another one over here. Yeah, when, when you're unforbidden... You're allowed to come over here, cut down any fully mature trees you might happen to find in these areas. That sounds great. Technically, they'll also do, yeah, heal root and berries, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, we've got plenty of wood right now. But yeah, we can do a between invasions harvest thing. Um... I mean, we've got a steady supply of meat from this. I mean, we're not hurting on raw food. I could tame the horses and try to replace the camels. But we do have the camels right now. They're starting to reproduce. That seems okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to busy ourselves with taming. But LeBray's inspiration is inspired recruitment, which we can't do anything with. If there was an inspired tame, I might have been tempted. So yeah, eventually all these bugs will get um, butchered. Interesting. But, yeah, you're prioritizing the cooking first, which, fair enough. And then they'll all be turned into kibble. Well, depending on how much hay we've got. They'll be slowly turned to kibble over time. <laughs> I guess we got a little bit behind on some of these meals. Oh, wow, we... Oh, we have, I was going to say, we have lots of meals. We have their packaged survival meals. At least our people can eat that if they get hungry. But, yeah, we got to get going with these. Um, You know, I'm going to suspend the lavish meals. Although we have so much raw food. I guess that's fine. I don't know if they take more time. Uh, work amount 54. Yeah, they do actually. Oh okay, yeah, I'll turn off the lavish meals then. Fine meals can stay. Fine meals are perfectly food efficient and take about half the work of a lavish meal. Um, they still give you a mood buff. The Swedish persuasion. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll need a persona core. Let me get the long range mineral scanner, even though I'm not planning on using it specifically. But it leads to more ship components we're going to need. 
And yeah, if we do get some idlers that can work on the research benches here, that'll be kind of nice. Honey's going around harvesting oak trees. Yeah. And again, they're going to be fully grown trees, so it feels pretty nice and efficient. <laughs> and yeah, we'll give it a couple more days, and then we'll go and restrict everyone to the, the work allowed area here. Which, yeah, which... I'm going to effectively restrict to kind of the home zone, is going to be the idea. Again, restricts how much time people spend walking. Now, right now they're walking outside the base, but it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, I guess I can just deconstruct these. I don't know what you get from deconstructing a glow pod. But we don't have much food, wood inside here, so we'd be letting some people out regardless. We'd either be uh, making this a work area, or I suppose what I could do is just let Honey go outside, but I don't think anyone else has got a bunch of reason to go out anyway, so I don't think doing the, you know, unrestricted thing is actually causing a lot of people to do a ton of walking outdoors, other than maybe hauling a bunch of wood, which, fair. Okay, yeah, we've stored up a bunch now. So, I think what I'll do is I'll just go and flip this around to, all right, now restrict yourself to the yellow to work area. Hopefully we didn't leave any wood outside, but it does take like a long time for it to rot out completely. Now they'll just focus on the inside area here, rebuilding that. Yeah, get that metal trap up. And yeah, I'm not going to tear down these wood ones, but I'm just not putting the um, the rearm on them. So when they do get triggered, they won't get rebuilt. I mean, and it's always this one that's going to be attacked anyway. But yeah, I'm okay with, um, with using some steel over here just to protect the turret, which is more valuable. But yeah, what I think I'm going to do, since we do actually have a moment, I'm going to rebuild these to be less roundy. Yeah, more flat. But I think it'll be fine, especially I kind of want to leave my people a little bit more here because they do tend to walk this way and go after the guns. I want to be able to cover the guns is really what it comes down to. Yeah, so you know what? I'm going to get rid of those two. I could even consider adding one extra gun over here. We haven't really needed it, but we could consider it. Oh, something just got slaughtered. Wealth, 111,000. Little bunny rabbit. Aw, poor little bunny. Good eating, though. Research center is going fine. What's NG up to? Oh, you're resting. All right. Uh, a little bit of fire here, but it went out because, yeah, it is raining, so that's okay. No one's sleeping in the dorm or the barracks. I think of dormitory from um, War Fortress. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Should maybe consider doing some double doors over here in case we get some really brutal manhunter packs. So what I should do is that and that, like that. And that's part of the allowed work area, right? Because I think I left... Yeah, there's a little bit left outside, which is fine. So, same thing here and here. I can get rid of you. Let me just double check the work area here. Over. Hey, yeah. Uh, da -da. So we've seen the Manhunters. What they do is they're like... Oh, yeah, auto-doored this one. Um, if they see someone go through something, they will just go and, like, continuously... They'll bash against it for a little while. And if it was a tougher Manhunter, they might actually get through. So by putting a double door... Um, not like that. Um, do I want another auto door? I mean, it's material. No, I'll just do the wooden door. I know it was to save time, mostly for the escape. Um, which this will still be helpful, so we leave it there. But yeah, if they get through the first one, then they'll see another one, but they won't have seen anyone go through it. So they shouldn't try to bash the second one. So we'll have, I mean, we have these little airlock systems and it's going to work. I don't need it here because we're not doing it the same way. There's a Persona Core offer. There we go. Okay. Location Persona Core. What you need to build a spaceship tells you quite rare. Usually its owners have it guarded. Call them. Call Annex Alex of Manure. All right. Sounds like manure, but. Okay. 1500 silver and we need goodwill. All right. So we're going to try to goodwill these guys. Civil Outlander Faction. Uh, they are the dark purple. So these guys over here. So we could set up a gift um, caravan over there. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to research transport pods. I already have transport pods researched. We have chem fuel going on. Perfect. 
we can fling some gifts at them. So, uh, is that under miscellaneous? Yes. So we need a pod launcher, and then it'll need a transport pod built next to it. Um, has to be unroofed. I think this is a fine spot to put it. Yeah. I'll do that. Now, there's a button on here to very conveniently build the, tr the, the transport pod. Um, I was going to say, but I can pre-queue it to get it building right away. But apparently I can't build it until this is built anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, we'll get that down there. And we've got some statues. Perfect. We can just fling some statues at them as a gift. That's going to be perfect. And yeah, Engie's back at work over here. Currently making components. Oh yeah, because all your armor is done. You probably don't have the uh, material to make these right now. So you're having to get some components going before you can get the Bionic Eye and more recon armor. Which is A-OK. -okay. Plus we're going to need some components for this. Well, just the one, actually. These are pretty cheap to build. Now we're going to have to build the pod as well. I don't think the pod needs components. Oh, it does. 60 steel, one component. It's not tremendously expensive. It is a little annoying because the pod, you don't get to keep it. So you can use the pod to send people places really quickly. Um, they'd still have to walk back. But yeah, we can do that. You can choose how much fuel to put in, which determines the range. But what I want to do is I want to do a lunch over here. And we're going to gift some things. And I'm going to gift... Uh, where are my statues? There they are. All right, we still have some mass left over. Um, I could send them some animals. You know what, I'm gonna go rid of these slate blocks just to clean up my inventory a bit. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load these. And then we're just gonna launch it to the manure people. I'm sorry, I think I mispronounced that, but no, the manure people. <laughs> we're gonna go and finish loading this and just fling it at them as a gift. There you go, pod loading complete. Launch. Oh, wow, this is actually, so this is the range, and we can just get there with this amount of fuel. We could put more fuel in, but turns out we don't have to. And it's gonna be plus 44 mood. I think we needed a 40 mood to uh, be able to ask about that location. So let's have Honey call them again. Call the manures. Need 1,500 or 1, silver near Trade Beacon. Oh, yeah, we only have 1,300. All right, well, we need a trade caravan then. Time is a little awkward then because, uh, oh, everyone's smoking smoke leaf, um, which I do allow them to do for, for recreation. Yeah, so I don't want people drinking Psychite tea just for whenever they want recreation. Yeah. We'll do that. I suppose I could turn off the smoke leaf. I don't know. We'll leave it on for now. Make sure the moods are okay. Um, I can't... Oh, yeah. Uh, the moods will decay, so depending on how quickly this all happens, there's a possibility... Oh, see, this growing zone is already going to cover that. Although, it's missing a tiny scooch, so I'm going to do this. Honey, were you just wondering? Maybe. So we still need some doors unbuilt here. Yeah, food situation is fine. We got a lot of it. A lot of the actual meals are survival meals. But yeah, so we can do it. We can make our own trade caravan, which we would get more profit out of. Um, what was this one? Oh yeah, that was the bionic arm with the turrets. I guess the best bet would probably be to go to Cheyenne here. Oh, they're hostile. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. We could do a trade caravan to here. I could give some stuff to Cheyenne to make them non-hostile and then do a trade caravan. But someone's going to come to visit us. And that'll probably be okay. Hopefully the mood doesn't decay, but if it does, we can just fling another transport pod um, at things. Now, we do need more chem fuel. Oh, we got cargo pods with blue fur. All right. Yeah, I'll just uh, unrestrict everyone again for a little bit. So they can go and grab that, please. We got some slag chunks. I wonder if they were designated for hauling because we're in here, or I'd flag them before. Probably because I'd flag them before. That's the thing. If I have chunks flagged, and I do have a few in places, they'll go and grab that now while they're unrestricted. But that's fine, too. I think those hauling of the chunks are lower priority than just hauling items. So they will do that first. Uh, we have some steel. Not a ton of steel, but enough for any one job. So I don't need to designate any more mining. Master timer? Okay, we're still fine. I don't think we're about to get pounced on. Product wasted. You've got an 11 animal skill. Get better at it. Grr. 
Darcy's actually idle, but there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing some cleaning, occasional milking. I mean, the more the more cows we have, the busier Darcy's gonna be with milking. There you go, chem fuel. I mean, someone's gonna get used to uh, reload this launcher. I suppose I could have toggled this off, but it's fine. I mean, it's done now. Actually, they have 76 fuel and their target was 75. They overloaded it by one? I guess that's just how much they were carrying? I wonder if they'll unload the excess. I don't think they do. High explosive shells back on. Not a whole lot left to finish that. I'm happy we've got a little chem fuel industry. If we had boomalopes, we'd be able to milk them for chem fuel. Although there's certain risks to keeping boomalopes around. We definitely have some people going around in Devil Strand dusters, which is nice. Because yeah, if they don't have um if they don't have recon armor, although there's a suit right there. Maybe they're not preferring it because it's not as comfy. Um, again, I guess a... I'm going to give it to Sappy. Sorry to wake you up in your sleep. But Sappy is one of our better sh combat people with a shorter range weapon. So we're going to prioritize getting you armored up. There we go. And that did technically free up another Devil Strand. Oh, it's Devil Strand Parka. Oh. Well, we have the Parker jobs, like, suspended now, so it's going to be okay, but well, someone's still going to go and equip that. It is good armor, and as long as they're not overheating, they'll be happy to wear it. The Parker doesn't care cover the legs, though, and Duster does. I don't think the Parker does. Yeah, no. It doesn't cover the legs. So it's not as much coverage. Also, I think the Parker uses more material, so the Devil Strand Parker, like, I think eight tons of material. Oh, it'll be something else we could sell at some point, and it'll be okay money if it doesn't get completely worn by then. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of cleaning going on here. Okay, long-range mineral scanner, which I'm not really intending to build, but yeah, it unlocks the next step over here. Well, I guess we need the Crypto Sleep Casket to be able to get over here, so what the heck, we'll research it. We can milk the um, the dromedaries as well, huh? Oh. Maybe we don't need cows at all. I suspect the cows generate maybe more milk faster. I don't know if that's a stat somewhere. Uh... Milk. There you go. Milk amount is 14 every day. Milk amount is 18 every two days. So nine per day. So yeah, you don't get as much milk from the dromedaries. But it's not not that much worse. I mean, yeah, as a statistic, it sort of is. But for the idea of just maintaining one type of animal for convenience. I don't think the dromedaries breed as quickly either. I think the cows just breed a lot faster. Um, inspiration for Darcy. Oh, work faster? Oh, work frenzy. Okay. Yeah, so you're not going to make things at a higher quality. And Darcy's probably the worst target for that. Darcy doesn't do that many things that need work rate. Like, he'd be great on NG. Again, we'd like the we'd like the the one that improves the um, the quality for these projects. Although right now, there we go. Done the shells. Right now, NG's just doing a lot of busy work components and things like that, rather than actually working on armor. So. But now that we're back on component duty, and that's the thing, if we'd gotten like an inspired creativity, I would have made sure to focus on, let's get one of these projects done. Let's make sure we've got the, the prereqs. We actually might be out of uranium or plasteel. Yeah, actually, we need uh, I, we need 80 plasteel to do the recon armor. Yeah, and 10 uranium. We've got the uranium. Actually, yeah, we're good on uranium. It's just the plasteel thing. So if we could buy some plasteel, it'd be okay. I wonder if there's any mineable plasteel in the hills. The problem is, so that's steel. Plasteel, I think, is a little lighter, bluerish. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to spot it. Unfortunately. This is why I like uh, streaming RimWorld, because people in the chat can tell me where things are. Uh, yeah, that's steel on the light side. Dark side over there. It's just granite. I thought it might have been more uranium. I mean, plasteel is not super common, so I'm not expecting there to be a bunch sitting around. There may have been some on the map that already got mined. That's steel, steel, steel. Yeah. Well, if there was some and I missed it, I really apologize. Let me go and, like, slowly fill this in. Maybe on both sides. I will try to maybe buy some. Um... Let's open, let's do the danger room. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, let's, let's get building here. Uh, we'll just use wood because it's going to be very temporary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a trap tunnel. 
like so and like so. So the idea is I'm going to go and dismantle this little section of wall over here. And then what I'm going to want to do is have the baddies. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just do it this way. Walk through a line of traps. I'm going to put... I'm going to want an escape door for my people, but probably a little further ahead. Let's put it like here. I don't know, a person can just run through this pretty quick. Um, you know, I know what I'm going to do. Cancel this. I just want to make sure that our person can break line of sight with things as quickly as possible and go through a door while hopefully other people are being sort of slowed down. Now, they're not going to be slowed down, but they will try to go through here mostly. We can put some people over here as bait to try to grab attention as well. Okay, that's going to be okay. And then what I'm going to do is we want to make sure that they all walk on the right, the left-hand side over here. So we're just going to, like, the tree being here is perfect because it's a speed debuff. Uh, the enemy pawns won't want to walk through there. Um, I will chop this. I'll also chop this one because it's going to impede our own pawns. But yeah, the enemy is going to want to walk down this side because they're going to perceive it as faster. I have to, do, like, to invest temporarily in an auto door over here, but it's probably goofy. I don't think I need a fence piece here. Um, maybe, actually, because they might walk around this first trap otherwise. Yeah. So let's do that. Uh, I still have people unrestricted. Raid timer's coming up soon, although I don't think anyone's got any reason to be at the edge of the map. I could just make this the work area, but I'm going to leave them unrestricted temporarily. I'm not going to pop this open until the next major event. Oh, where are you going? That's actually quite interesting. Because you're gathering this to cut blocks. What I should probably do... I'm going to put a hall on limestone. Just so that when wind is in between areas... There you go, and marble over here. Let me zoom out as much as I can. Double click. Yeah, it's still in the seven. When we're in in-between times like this, people can rush out to the edge of the map and pick up. It's mostly, I think, the marble. Because I think we're consuming it for fancy statues. There you go. So there's some more marble there. Move over just in case we can get a little bit more. Okay, that's lots of chunks. So we'll put that as a as a hall. Um, I mean, there's a limited amount of space for the chunks anyway, which is over there. Actually, speaking of this and this, you've got to get cleared out. You're in the way. Let me make a new, yeah, a new dumping stockpile. Right over here. There you go. Because, yeah, I'm going to want to restrict things pretty soon. In fact, we're pretty near the edge. I'm going to go uh, allowed work. This place here can be an allowed work area. Maybe I'll extend it a little just in case something comes up. And I'm going to... I don't want people going to the edges. So we're going to restrict to allowed work right now. But they can still work on this. So that's going to be fine. It's still outside our walls, but it's not too far from our walls. And it's not super close to the edge. That's the important thing. So I think you can open this up. Sometimes you get mechs. Sometimes you get bugs. Um, you get you can get the, uh, the, the crypto cryo sleep caskets that open up that sometimes have aggressive people in them. I think there might always be the caskets. I'm not sure. Even if you get... Because I know I've seen bugs in the caskets. I don't know if I've seen mechs in the caskets. So sometimes something aggro's right away. Sometimes you have to open up a casket before things do. I wonder if I should make this longer. Really load it up with more traps. We may. No longer inspired recruitment. Yeah, well, that didn't actually matter. Okay, everyone's got a good helmet on their noggin. Honey's working on components right now, which is fine. A shaman merchant. Yes, I don't want to miss the merchant. I did miss a merchant at some point. And we could have used the silver. So what we're looking to do here is we're just trying to make a tiny bit of silver so we can be over 1500 if we get some useful units uh, items out of it at the same time hey bonus i don't know where you're gonna go I, I i'm a little surprised that in vanilla they don't have the uh, the trade spot not to be confused with the caravan spot caravan is where you assemble your caravan um that's not where traders go there's a mod for the trade spot but yeah i'm a little surprised it's not in vanilla 
Okay, so yeah, we'd like to make some money. Let me get rid of this insect jelly. It's good money. People might get sick eating it. We don't need more neutromine. Uh, they are not selling components, unfortunately. I don't need herbal medicine. I could sell the psychite tea for a few bucks as well. Oh, yes, you sell plasteel. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. If we can somehow arrange... I need I need a tiny bit of gold for the... I need it for the advanced components. I don't really want to be selling those right now. Um, I might sell all my non-pregnant mature cows. But I still need to earn money, so I can't buy all this plasteel. I can buy a fair amount of it. There we go. That'll put me just over 1,500. Okay. Let's do that. And honey, could you please come and call Manua? Oh, it's not near the trade beacon. <sighs> Someone's got to haul the silver in. Hey, what? Uh, oh, someone might have done it now. Let's try it again. I don't know if my mood, if the social skill matters, does. Probably not. Okay, tell me where Persona Core is. Thank you. All right, so we got a new quest. Expires in 27 days. So if we don't get it soon, Nine Manhunter Arctic Fox may be an unknown threat. Well, the foxes won't be a problem. Okay. Good. Uh, ooh, we do want to wait for potentially the next raid. I might not open this then after the next raid. I might prioritize getting the Persona Core because I would hate to miss the chance to do that. Lots of insect meat around. Yeah, I'm mostly waiting for more hay, I think. What? Well, any vegetable matter would be okay. I guess we don't have the vegetable matter. All right, fair enough. But yeah, we'll keep kibbling and things. As long as we got meals, we're good. Darcy's idle, which is pretty typical. Trade, what would you like? The 11 flak vests. You would give me a bionic eye and a legendary shield belt and a bionic leg? Okay, and a resurrector, two resurrector serums. Wow, these are great trade opportunities. Um, flak vests would be a fair investment to be made. Um, making them in time would be tricky. It's also a long trip. Oh, did I make the eye? No, I'm working on it. Um, I'll probably pass on it just because we've got, oh my God, I gotta put a cut in this. We've got a lot of like relatively good short-term, even medium-term things to do here. I don't think that distraction is going to be that helpful. Finish the build to make the statues. I don't think I'll queue up any more right now. Yeah, I think I'm fine on that. We got a few extras to sell. I can put some down for decor. All right, let's put a cut in here. Next episode, well, next episode, likely we're going to deal with a major event. And then after that, I really do want to assemble a group to get the Persona Core as a top priority. And then... And then we can open the danger zone at some point, but it won't be then. Uh, it might it might end up being next episode, but it wouldn't surprise me if you have it a little bit too much to do. We'll see. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.